Hello everyone, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. My name is Talisha and I also go by Creativity by T. And in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you a McCall's and Know Me pattern haul. If you have been following me, you would know that I have recently returned from a family vacation. And when I returned from vacation, Know Me and McCall's patterns were on sale at Joanne Fabrics for $1.99. At first I wasn't gonna go to the sale because I had just came back from vacation and spent heavily but you know that's okay but I said you know what I want to go because the new summer Nomi patterns were released and the also the McCall summer patterns were released and there were a few that I wanted to get so I went ahead and picked that up and that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today in addition to picking those up right before my vacation there was a simplicity vogue and buttery pattern sale that was going on and I did pick up some of those so I'll be sharing those later uh, because I didn't get a chance to share those before I left so yeah just stay tuned to the channel to see what all I picked up all my different hauls and that's that's just a few you. I'm also excited to share the 12 things that I made for my vacation that I have not had an opportunity to share yet. So again, just stay tuned to the channel. If you like this type of content, make sure that you hit the like button and the subscribe button so that you can see everything else that I have to offer and share with you all. All right, so now I will go ahead and go to the sewing table and just let me know in the comment section below which patterns you like and you know, just all that good stuff, all right? Thanks. Okay, so for the first pattern that I have, I I have the Know Me 2040 and this is a pattern that was designed by Brittany Jane Jones and this here is a lovely lovely dress there is a very similar dress that I like that is by Seamwork if I remember I'll put a picture up and I really really love it but the back portion of the dress is not suitable for me so I went ahead and purchased this dress right here because this back portion of this dress does work for me so this is what it looks like there's view a which is a midi length and then you have view b which is your maxi length i personally like both lengths so i'm not really sure which length i am going to make right now but i just love them both here are the line joins to the dress and the suggested fabrics are going to be your chambray cotton blends crepes double knit jersey linen blends modal ponte poplin sateen and scuba so you do get different variety of fabrics that you can use and you're not just stuck to wovens or just knits so again here's the line drawings and the description of misses and women's dress in two lengths so yes this was definitely number one on my list then i picked up another Nomi pattern this is an me2035 and this was designed by alicia grace and i love the tears i mean i just really really love tears i have patterns for tops with tears i have not made them yet but for some reason i really like them now to be honest i don't know if they're gonna look really nice with my larger bust but i'm definitely gonna try to make it work and that is why i picked it up so view a is the shorter version you have view b that is the longer version and to be honest i will probably make view a just because i don't know may i just think it may look a little bit better on me but let's go ahead and take a look at the line drawings so here are the line drawings in the back and the suggested fabrics are going to be your sure mousse the your crepes double georgette lace and silky types and this does call for a lining again um, with these line drawings there's three tiers for a four for b and i just think that the a would look a little bit more better on my body and here's a closer look at view a here and you can't really see the tiers because of the fabric design or the print within the fabric but you could see it here like if it stopped here you know so yeah really like that really like this neckline here as well and it just seems to have a really good fit so I definitely want to give this a try so for the next won't know me pattern that I picked up I picked up another beauty Jador and the pattern number is me2046 I really love it and the pattern description is uh, Mrs. and women's tunic in two lengths and woven pants so even though the pants aren't really noticeable because it's being covered by the tunic it is included within the pattern and to be honest it kind of looks like a fall look because of how long the sleeves are but I do know people that wear longer sleeves all through the summer 
just because that's a preference and it's not a really big deal to have to cut sleeves down just to make it shorter if that is your desire so i really really like the value in this pattern and so view b is the longer tunic which is this view right here and view a is the shorter tunic right now in the summer i would make the shorter tunic and then i would cut the sleeves off at about here and i love how the slit goes higher but you can always adjust that and make your slit lower if that's what you prefer so here are the line drawings in the back and here's a closer look at the pants so the pants just has a waistband and darts and the Suggestive fabrics are going to be your stretch knits only, such as cotton, ITY, jersey, medal, ribbed sweater, and um, 4C, which are your pants, cotton blends, and lightweight denim, um, lightweight wools, linen blends, and stretch woven. So, yeah, I, I, I can see this, you know, being a really, really nice pants. And so, yeah, definitely love this pattern. I don't know that I will make it up right now, but just the fact that I can make it up for now, you know, in the summer, or I can make it in the winter, or I can make it in the fall. I could just make it whenever I want. So definitely a good deal. Okay, so now we're on to the McCall patterns that I picked up. And the first pattern that I picked up was McCall's 8410 and i really really like this this is a brandy joanne or joan brandy joan i'm sorry this is a brandy joan it does have a sew alone and the pattern description is mrs jacket and mini skirt um so view a is what's going to be your jacket here and then here's your mini skirt i'm not one that really wears mini skirts but if I wore this, I could definitely wear this with like some leggings or either some knee high boots and I would feel comfortable with that. So I just thought it was super cute and I decided to pick it up. So here are the line drawings in the back and actually to correct myself, it's not Mrs. Jackets, it's Mrs. Shirt and mini skirt. So you could just make the shirt if you want to. And here are the line drawings for the shirt and the mini skirt in the back and the suggested fabrics are gonna be your chambray's, cotton blends, linen and your twill. So yeah, and I, I just like the shape of this shirt here how it kind of dips on the side and yeah it's just a different different look all right so the next mccall's is mccall's 8413 and the pattern description is mrs caftans and two lengths and it actually does look like a caftan dress that i made last year without the rouging so um there's a seam line in the middle of the one that i made last year and it was a simplicity pattern and uh, I'm sure there's a seam line in the back middle and mine does not have the rouging if I were to add rouging it would be identical so definitely I'm drawn to these types of patterns and this type of look I love caftans I love the relaxed fit of this but with for this I do like the detail of the rouging to kind of give it an extra flair and to not have to do the footwork to figure out how to do it on my own with measurements and things like that so um, that was definitely going to be a win for me I love view B, which is the green sample right here. And this is going to be the longest length. So let's look at the line drawings in the back. So here are your line drawings in the back. You could just see how A is your shorter, B is going to be your longer. Uh, actually, I believe B and C might be the same in length. Yeah, they are the same in length. Um, but with C, C is color block, so you do have that option. The suggested fabrics are going to be your chalets, crepes, georgette, and your staple knits. As you know, I always pick up something from the McCall's Learn to Sew or, you know, different level type sewing patterns because those are just some easy patterns that are generally cute that are nice to have around your stash if you are down or, you know, if you lost your sojo, they're just something easy that you can pick up and sew really quickly. So this is McCall's 8409 and it's Mrs. Skirts in uh, three lengths. They are also wrap skirts as well and it is a level one. Um, with this, you learn how to put on a band, a waistband, you learn how to make darts, and you also learn how to add piping. So here are the line drawings in the back. And so you got a lot going on here with the just adding things, but you know, that's kind of nice because some people don't know how to add 
on to their sewing and you know be a little bit more creative so this will kind of help spike that and the suggested fabrics are going to be your cotton blends crepes linen and stable knits and for me i would make view c which is this last one right here the reason being is because this is the longest length which makes it more suitable for my lifestyle and for the work environment and things like that i would get a lot more use out of it all right so the next mccall's pattern that i picked up is mccall's 8415 in the pattern description is shirt vest tie and bow tie i love every view within this pattern and i just love how form-fitting it is i do have a mccall's pattern that is also form-fitting um, the one thing I don't prefer about it is that there is a front part of the sleeve and a back part of the sleeve. So you have to sew those parts together and then you, you know, attach it to the actual shirt. While that's not terrible, if you have prints within the fabric that you don't want to break up, you'll end up breaking it up with that pattern. So I decided to go ahead and get this one. Plus I, you know, really wanted to get this vest pattern. I think it's very, really, really sharp and it is lined. And so... Uh, I would more than likely make the vest before I made anything else probably uh, to be honest that's probably the only thing I would make out of this packet because usually when I do make my husband something it's more on the lines of a shirt and he does not prefer Ankara fabric even though he likes the designs because he said the fabric is thick and it makes him too hot so he feels like if he got a vest that would be okay because the Ankara would only be on the front portion of his vest so that's the reason behind this i will feel definitely more comfortable spending time making a vest than a shirt knowing that he wouldn't wear the shirt that often and you know everyone knows it's not a cakewalk in the park to make a button-down shirt so that is the reason for this um purchase and i will go ahead and show you the line drawings so before i show you the line drawings here's the vest up close here's the short sleeve shirt here's the regular long sleeve and the tie and here is another version of the shirt but it's color blocked with the cuffs and the uh, collar and neck stand neck band and here are the line drawings in the back so here's the vest and your shirts and there's the tie the bow tie you can you you can't even see that but i mean i can barely see that with my eye here looking at it so anyway the suggested fabrics are going to be your cotton blends and also brocade and lightweight wool blends and satin again this is mccall's 8415 all right and then i picked up mccall's 8419 you know you know you know that i'm always going to pick up a bag pattern I especially like view D but the description is uh, tote bags and hat so there are four different patterns of totes and then you have your hat hanging on the wall that's also part of the deal so view a here has the the orange and the polka dots view B it's here in your army green you see here has your stripes and view D here is in the floral and i really really love that view the best because it's like scrunched at the sides and then it has like a smaller handle and then of course i love a hat so here are your line drawings in the back is view a view b view b here has a couple handles view c is rectangular this is view d my favorite and then your hat okay so that is it for my pattern haul again please let me know in the comments below your thoughts about it which one you like best and things of that nature and again stay tuned to the channel because i do have more content that is coming along very very soon thank you so much for watching thank you to all of my new and returning subscribers for your support and i'll see you in the next video bye